Hey, what's up, guys? This is Atlantis Refurbished, back again with another video today or tonight. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit, spiritual downloads, and how both of those things tie into situations or are brought to the forefront in situations where uh, in the past you were, went through a, simulation similar, a situation similar to that, but now you're going through it again with... Uh, more spiritual downloads and access to the Holy Spirit. So um, when you encounter these similar problems that you went through in the past, now with those new tools, you look back and realize that uh, your past self was overreacting to how big the problem was in the first place um, when it was just coming from a limited perspective. All right, guys, so to start off, we have to identify what the Holy Spirit is. Um, my viewpoint, just to start off, I'm going to say that my viewpoint, um, on what the Holy Spirit actually is probably won't line up or possibly will trigger some people that are into, like, the mainstream teaching of it. Um, so basically, my view of the Bible as a whole isn't that it's not true, it's that the truth has been misconstrued, um, or told the wrong way. So basically, one thing that's already been proven and even the church agrees with is that a lot of Jesus, Jesus' teachings in the Bible in general, uh, they were written in parables and like more of a story format with a lesson uh, and also had a lot of like deep metaphors. So you can't take everything that the Bible says literally. Um, a lot of it has a much deeper meaning than comes across initially. So, going forward with that view of it, or basically my view being that it, my view basically is that it does have a lot of deep metaphor and that it is not what it looks like on the surface. So, just like the Hindu cultures called the energy centers, chakras, and the flow of energy kundalini, if you're familiar with that, um, in Revelations in the Bible, uh, there's a few passages that refer to something called the two witnesses and the seven churches and basically what it says uh, this isn't word for word in those end times revelations uh part of the bible when it's referencing the two witnesses and the seven churches it'll say something like um if you have the eyes to hear eyes to see and the ears to hear uh listen to what your uh the spirits in your churches are telling you um that is using churches and witnesses as a metaphor for the two snakes, um, the two kundalini snakes in Hindu culture, and the seven chakras. Uh, both of them just use different words because obviously they're from a different language and culture. Um, ultimately, all that that's saying is that the energy flow through your body when you have all of your spiritual centers open, whether or not you want to call that chakras or churches or energy centers, if you want to break it down simply, um, that is the Holy Spirit. Um, I feel that is what Jesus and other spiritual teachers throughout history were actually trying to teach, is that they, were, they weren't trying to be worshipped as like these gods. They ended up being worshipped as gods because people couldn't, at the time, understand their teachings to the full extent. Um, all they were trying to do was lead by example, um, live a pathway of love, and show you that doing the right thing unblocks those energy centers in your body and allows you to have a higher connection with God, otherwise known as the Holy Spirit. So another fun way to basically word the Holy Spirit would be to take the word whole, like W-H-O-L-E, and then add a Y to it. This is basically because by opening up your holes um, or energy centers, chakras, uh, churches, whatever you want to call them, in your aura, um you, over time, by balancing these and getting rid of past traumas, you are making yourself feel more complete of a person, um, otherwise known as becoming whole, um, or in this case, holy. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to what a download is. Um, basically, it is through the Holy Spirit or the energy flow that I just described that one would get a download or something that this, like that's basically what the spiritual community calls it really it's just a um 
a realization that comes from a higher um, dimensional consciousness, otherwise known as source or God. Uh, basically, a download is where you are thinking about an idea, in this case spiritual, and you suddenly connect two points or get a realization. Um, as I just said, that comes from a higher perspective. It's different than just a normal realization, basically. You'll be thinking about something and then have, like, a sudden thought that comes into your head that, like, you never would have thought of on your own, um, basically. Like, it's very obvious that it comes from a higher place. This only really happens to me when I have my upper chakras open or my otherwise known as the third eye, throat chakra, heart chakra especially, and crown chakra. Um, the reason I say heart chakra especially is uh, emotions are the most powerful. Like, strong emotions are what connect you with God. Um, intention. Most people put a lot of significance on the third eye with intention, but um, without a strong emotion behind it, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, so basically, in this case, uh, though the realization isn't from you, it's a download to your computer or brain from a higher dimensional consciousness. Um, basically, the Holy Spirit, Kundalini, or simply energy flow is the medium for this download to come through to you. Um, this is because, basically, if you don't have a opened energy flow, or you have blocked energy in those chakras, uh, this can come through overthinking, anxiety, fear, etc., etc. Um, the energy that's coming through can't accurately come down from God or through your crown chakra for you to make any real sense of it um, and have it like benefit you in reality. Uh, this is because at that current moment, you are, if you are overthinking or have your energy blocked, you are thinking from a 3D perspective um, and putting more like weight in the like third dimensional world or the material world rather than um, like seeing through it as an illusion and connecting to God. All right, so now we're going to get to how um, energy flow or the Holy Spirit and downloads um, help you to realize things from your past were not as big as they really were in the first place. All right, so basically when you come back to these to these similar events in the present that you dealt with in the past, uh, but since then you've like had that more like or had more life experience with spirituality and like seeing through certain things in life as not that as important as you used to see them. Um, this creates like the perfect environment for even more downloads to happen. So basically, when you go back to that past situation, you We'll go through it, um, remembering how, like, certain things used to, like, make you freak out or have a, like, ton of weight to them. And afterward, realize, like, because you're seeing through it as an illusion, you didn't really react to it as much. Um, that in itself is a download, because downloads are realizations, and in that moment, you're realizing that your connection to God made you, or your connection to God through the Holy Spirit or your energy flow to your crown chakra made you realize like that you're like an infinite spiritual being and that a lot of life situations are blown up to be a lot bigger than they should be uh that is like blown up to be a lot bigger than they should be through our ego mind that compares brendan which is my name to the people outside or the people in my family or the people at school or the people in society um that is like the number one way to block your like flow to the Holy Spirit or God. Uh, because you're basically showing you're in that basically because everything is intention based in reality. Um, in that moment you're focused or your intention is on those people, those family members, um, and comparing yourself to them without realizing that you're an infinite spiritual being that is ultimately connected to all those people so you're not as separate as you seem um, once you make those connections or downloads in your own personal life um, it changes your perspective on a lot of things all right so that basically explained like how all that tied together um, one more thing i wanted to add in really quick is that my it is my personal belief that 
these going through the same experience again in the future with a higher perspective. Uh, a lot of those events are set up by the divine um, or through your own connection to your higher self to sort of motivate you or show you that you have grown as a person and that you don't take those things as seriously as you used to. It's um, At first, it can be, you can think of it as a negative, uh, like... Like, are you, at first you can react to it as a negative when you're going through it. You're like, why do I have to go through this again? Uh, but afterward you realize it was actually just like a test and to prove to you that, or God trying to prove to you that you have grown as a person and show you that you're ready for like a, either the next step in life or just like to let go of the past in general. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you have any ideas for future videos in the comments. Um, the concept of this video was a little more deep or, like, had multiple points to it than, like, the negativity video or the other videos. So let me know if I can improve on anything um, in the comment section as well. Um, if you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel, and have a bliss day full of new insights in your own personal life and furthered progress on becoming a whole person, otherwise known as a holy person. See you guys.